Today, I'm going to be giving you a closer look at this automatic, hands-free soap dispenser. As you can tell, it is really nice looking. Um, usually, I use something like this, just a soft soap dispenser that I refill regularly. And it just doesn't look as good. It gets messy refilling it. And yeah, it just doesn't stay nice. This one is easy to refill. It has a nice large tank, so you don't have to refill very often. And it just works well without any messes or spills. All right, so I'm gonna be showing you a couple of these features first before I show you how this works. So on the bottom here, there's this little plate um, that just attaches on. Now this is really useful because it keeps it standing upright, but also the battery compartment is down here. And so you've got this little lip here, so if there happens to be some water on the counter, your batteries are not sitting directly in the water. It is lifted. So that's always nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off here. Okay, there's a little square cut out in the middle that just fits in right here and it pops on and off pretty easily so it's not a pain you have to change your batteries. Let me show you the battery compartment right here. Okay, so it takes four AAA batteries, uh, not included, to so make sure that you've got those on hand. And of course, you need batteries in order for this to operate, so if you're out of batteries at home, the soap dispenser is pretty useless, but because it's AAA, most people have AAA batteries on hand. So I will do four AAA batteries any day. Okay, so let's pop that back in. All right, so the first thing you want to do when you get this is fill it up, or is put in the batteries, and then fill the soap tank. So up here, you twist this counterclockwise until you hear it click into place, and then it will slide right out. And then you just pour your soap in here, which I could stand to put in a little bit more. I didn't fill this up the whole way. Let me go get my soft soap and show you how easy it is to fill it. Okay, I just use these large bottles of soft soap that you can refill dispensers with. It works great. You can use whatever you want in here. Just make sure that it's a liquid soap and make sure that it doesn't have any solid particles in it. That is important. So if it's a kind of liquid soap that has like those little balls in there, that will not be a good one to use with a soap dispenser. Okay. Oops. I think that I've got this too full. It came out there a little bit faster than I expected. Yep, I've got too much in here. Give me a second while I sort this out. Okay, so as long as you don't overfill like I just did, this is a mess-free process. Let's fill it up because you've got a nice pouring spout that you can pour that soap in. Um, and it is pretty easy to avoid spilling over the sides. Okay, so now let's pop this lid back into place. And then you'll turn it clockwise to lock it. Okay, so as much as you pull on this, it won't come up. You have to turn it in order to get that out, which is nice because you know that it won't accidentally fall out. And this will stay closed. Okay, now to use this, you go ahead and hold in this button for a couple seconds. So you're going to see a little light right here, an indicator light. Okay, now my soap dispenser's on. I usually hold it there for like three seconds to turn it on. Works the same way to turn it off. So when you're going to wash your hands, you're just going to move your hand underneath the sensor here, and that soap will come out. And you can see that it gives a nice amount. You can also adjust the amount that is dispensed. So, by doing one click, it will change the amount. Okay, so that was a little bit more. And that's a lot. I think the first one is the perfect amount of soap for me. Let's do it again. There should be four different amounts of soap. Oh my gosh, that is definitely a lot. Okay, and okay, and that goes back to the regular amount, and that amount works for me. So you can play around and go through here, just one click um, to change the soap amount, and then you hold in that button for two to three to four seconds, to turn it on and off. So let me hold it in here. And now when I put my hand under, it's turned off. 
Okay, so I recommend if you're cleaning this, like if you've got some soap spots on it or hard water spots and you wanna wipe it down, I do recommend turning it off um, or if you're gonna be moving it around a lot, uh, to just go ahead and turn it off to, uh, to prevent accidental spills. So if you're gonna be picking up and moving around like this or you wanna wipe down some spots on there, dry it off maybe, just turn it off, it'll save you some time. Um, but if you're just moving from location to location, uh, just be aware to pick up like this rather than like this because your thumb will probably set off that sensor. Now, it's not easy to set it off if you don't want to. Like if you have this right next to your sink and you're, you know, moving around it. Um, I usually keep it pretty close to the sink here and I don't set it off super easily. So let me turn that back on. Okay, um, now I use this one in my kitchen. These are great to use in bathrooms, um, of course, anywhere. I like this one for the kitchen because um, it matches my, my kitchen and my sink pretty nicely. And I like this for the kitchen because I can be able to get soap hands free. I don't have to pump when I've got like raw eggs and food all over me, which most of the time I'm coming to the sink with a mess all over me. So it's nice to just slide my hand under and get a little bit of soap without having to touch anything. So this stays pretty clean and it's a great automatic soap dispenser.